Hi everybody, my name is Megan and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about a diamond painting project that is very near and dear to my heart, which is Randall Spangler's Couch Dragon made by Diamond Art Club. This is a giant <laughs> diamond painting, at least to me. It is 35 inches by 18 inches. I ordered this diamond painting kit in August of 2021 and I have finally finished it in July 2023. <laughs> so this is a project that took me about two years <clears throat> and I finished it maybe about two weeks ago. Um, I had done several whipping chats on my channel where I work on this project and talk to you guys and hang out um, and I think it's really appropriate for me to unveil this and share my finished project with you guys. So let us take a look here. So this, like I said, is one of Randall Spangler's pieces. Um, he does a ton of work with Diamond Art Club, mostly featuring these really cute dragons. And look at this unfold. I'm sorry, but that was so pretty. The way that this just laid out was so pretty. <clears throat> I have a little bit of a cough, so excuse me. Okay, guys, let's take a look here. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, I should have gotten some photos ready to show you guys. This diamond painting is absolutely and completely just beautiful. Um, this is the first very large product or project, excuse me, that I have finished, um, ever. So as it is the first big project that I've finished on this channel, I think it would be get, like appropriate for me to talk to you guys and give you a little bit of my history with diamond painting. I think initially I found some diamond painting videos on TikTok. I don't really watch TikTok anymore because I feel like it's kind of counterproductive to me, but at the time I had seen the really close TikTok videos that some people make where they kind of do the little bitty, they put down their drills and the pen pulls back up and it kind of makes that little sticky sound that we're all so familiar with. And I was like, oh my goodness, this is so satisfying. I love this. So I start looking into diamond painting videos on YouTube. And I order my first kit, which was a, it was a kit from Amazon. It was just a few sunflowers. I finished it relatively quickly. Maybe it was like 15 by 15, you know, it was pretty small. Um, I, <clears throat> my plan for that painting had been to give it to my grandmother, which I did normally um, in the past. A lot of times I need kind of extra motivation to finish projects like this. So for me, having that incentivization of giving it to a family member to make them happy as a gift, it really helped me move forward with the project and get it done in a timely manner. My second big, or my second project that I really worked on with diamond painting was another Amazon kit. It was a hummingbird. Um, I finished it pretty quickly. I want to say it was maybe like a 10 by 10. It was really small. Um, I gave it to my mother for Mother's Day. And, you know, diamond paintings are a really nice gift. Um, since then, I've bought a few little things from Amazon. Sometimes they don't work out. Sometimes they look terrible, you know. But this project here was my first big kind of investment. This um, couch dragon was my first order from Diamond Art Club. Um, like I said, I ordered this in August 2021. And to be honest, when did I start making these YouTube videos? Let's see. So I'm taking a look really quickly here. So May 25th, 2023, I made my first ever diamond painting whip and chat. And let me take a, 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 let me see here. So this time, I had only progressed this far. So in two years, I had only finished until here. 
But when I made my YouTube channel, I made all of this progress in about two months. Is that not crazy? Less than two months. So in two years, I did this by myself. And then as soon as I started making videos and as soon as I started chatting with the diamond painting community, as soon as you guys started encouraging me and all of that, I made so much progress, which is incredible when you think about it, right? It's interesting how on your own, you can accomplish a lot, but when you have the support of other people, you're able to do so much more. You know, you can really, other people can see your potential. You can realize and actualize the potential that you have in yourself. Um, it's really so incredibly touching to me to think that all it took was what it's like 86 people. I think I currently, today is July the 20th and I think that right now I have, let me see, I currently have 84 subscribers. So it took 84 people <laughs> and most of those people haven't even left comments or nice words of encouragement. Most of them just subscribe and that's it, which is very, you know, very good. I'm very thankful for them. But I, you know, I feel like I've only had a handful of people leave messages and it's incredible the scope of such little encouragement or how far those interactions can really help me, you know? And it's not just me, it's just everyone. I feel like everyone in the world kind of feels like this. You can do so much good on your own, but with other people, you can be taken so much further. Um, so to me, finishing this diamond painting really kind of symbolizes how thankful I am for this YouTube community, how appreciative I am of everyone's kind words of encouragement. Um, and it really does just show you how far you can get <laughs> in such little time. So May 25th, I started my YouTube channel and I was, I, I was still working on this book. And then maybe a month and two weeks later, I'm just done. And, you know, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, well, it's Sunday. I need to do some videos today and reply to some comments, you know, and like... When I have that extra incentive or kind of like responsibility, it took me from letting myself down to, well, I don't want to let everyone else down. <laughs> and maybe there's something to say about that, about not caring about letting other people down. But to me, this really helped me, you know. Um, I do have plans to work on several other diamond paintings. This is not just incredible. I can't get over that in two years I only got this far and then in a month I finished it that's incredible um but yeah I have kind of gone over this painting a little bit just to make sure I don't have any loose drills as you guys could see earlier I did have this wrapped up in a pool noodle which I've learned recently <laughs> is like a godsend um, I would like to frame this. Like I said earlier, this is a 35 by 18 inches. So the frame is going to be large. If I get it framed, it's going to be heavy for sure. Um, I need to seal it sometime, but I think what I'm planning on doing right now is just letting it hang out, letting it be pool noodled for a little bit. And, um, you know me figure out what I want to do with the the frame situation because I do think that he should be framed um but yeah I just wanted to make this video to share with you guys my progress and more importantly the progress that you guys have enabled in me you know like I've been saying I feel like I've said this three times but it's incredible like how far I can go alone but with the enthusiasm of other people and just small words of encouragement um it just helps me unlock my potential with these things and you know things like that are important to consider just for you and your own personal journey and how we interact with other people 
It says so much about how far we can go with a few positive words, right? And I'm not always the best about things like that. And it really kind of shows you that, you know, negativity in a way may be holding us back a little bit. Like imagine if we all just cheered each other on what we could accomplish. But when I received this diamond painting and laid it out on the table in my kitchen, I thought, I am never going to finish this. <laughs> it is so large. Um, but in a month, I can't believe it. May, June, and then I finished this maybe two weeks ago at the very start of July. In a month. Is that not incredible? All of this in a month. And just for point of reference, I am someone with diagnosed ADHD. I do take medication for it occasionally, um, but I do still have issues holding a lot of focus. So for me to do so much is incredible. Um, also to me, 35 by 18 is a huge diamond painting. I know that there are people who crank this kind of work out in a week. <laughs> who knows, you know. Um, but for me, this is huge. I think I'd kind of like to go over the, the diamond painting before I end this video here. I do think I have a few little bits of, you know, little dust bunnies and whatever, just kind of hanging out. Um, and then, you know, me being a woman with long hair, I'm sure there's some Megan hair in here I need to um, get out of here. So, let's see. Do you guys think that the website has any information here about the painting? I think sometimes the newer paintings have descriptions. Okay, so this one does have a it does have a description. So here it says, indulge in your guilty pleasures by gathering up with your favorite snacks and some good reads. Create the perfect atmosphere by adding the right amount of mood lighting and settle into the comfiest spot on the couch to share a night's adventure with your coziest of friends. Super cute. I know um, in some diamond paintings, the characters have names or even the dragons here have names. Um, so I always kind of like to think that this couch dragon Maybe he's been at work all day. <laughs> I like to think that this is a female dragon. Um, a few people have left comments saying that female dragons have eyelashes. Um, but this is a very pink sofa. <laughs> and boys can like pink. Um, so maybe he's a gay dragon? Who knows? Or maybe he's just really cool. Maybe he's just very fashion forward. Um, here we have a little cat on the back of his sofa. You can notice that the cat has very beige colored whiskers, which in a way I kind of don't like. I feel like the whiskers should maybe be black and his eyes should be blue maybe or green like the dragon. Maybe one day I'll fix that. Um, also, this black outline here does not look very nice. I think that that maybe could have just stayed brown like the cat here. I did save some of the leftover drills just in case I do want to do some touch-ups sometime. Um, there does seem to be a little bit of rendering silliness happening here. We've got some light dots here, here, here. This under the photos. Um, this especially here kind of bothers me, but we are working with a pixelated image formatted for the use of diamond painting, so of course things aren't going to be perfect. Um, I have thought about changing these in the corner, the lines and whatnot, the little yellow here. Um, I do think maybe part of it gives some kind of depth perception, you know, especially further away. When I hold this up somewhere and then walk away from it, the painting does kind of look a little bit different. Like this does seem to be the corner of a wall, maybe. Um, maybe this is a corner here and then it kind of juts out. This also seems to maybe be a corner. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, 
Do you guys really see anything else that you would consider problematic with this? I think the use of black in some areas is interesting in comparison to the use of brown and the same spots. This here being black does not look fantastic to me. However, I can't really decide if that's because you have the TV here that is putting off light, supposedly. Is it really, though? I'm going to say that the TV is putting off light because we have some AB, some Aurora Borealis drills here at the bottom, which to me kind of imply that there's some shimmering light going on in the piece. Um, I will say, however, his little foot having the 310 black this having the 310 black doesn't look right to me. I am, I'm looking in my computer monitor at the way that this is looking from my webcam above. And I don't know that I love it. This here, the black at the bottom of the book here, seems a little bit bizarre. But mostly I would say the foot, the cat... And then some of these little bits of light seem strange to me, you know. Um, when I initially bought this product, I was missing a lot of this white color here. I do believe that the first time that this was rendered and sold by Diamond Art Club, there were rendering issues where maybe this wasn't white, but the blue continued up into the frames. I could be remembering this wrong, but because of that, I didn't receive enough of this ivory color here. I do think it's interesting how we, um, we've we been discussing that the, the dragons are gendered by their eyelashes, basically, <laughs> which is funny to think about. Um, I've always thought that this couch dragon, that these are probably his or her parents. Um, neither of them have eyelashes. I'd like to think that this is like dad dragon. This is mom dragon. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to think this is. I'm, I'm assuming magazines here. He's got some popcorn over here with the Aurora Borealis drills that are really shiny. Um, there's a little tiny, tiny insignificant amount of glow in the dark here and here in the lamps. Um, there's almost such little glow in the dark that I wonder why it was added at all. <laughs> um, I think it would have been cool if, um, like a lot of this was glow in the dark or a lot of this was glow in the dark, you know. Um, it's a really cute diamond painting though. If you guys are new to my channel or haven't seen my videos before, right now my current project that I'm working on after the couch dragon. I've started it up a little bit. I have like two whipping chats already is another dragon by Randall Spangler and that is Flight of the Fireflies. So here is an image of that just quickly if you guys might be interested in seeing those videos. It's a really cute little image that I've had my eye on for about a year or two, so I'm finally getting around to it. It was restocked on the Diamond Art Club website. I do think that that is a 22 by 22 inches um, canvas, so I am really looking forward to that. Um, let's see, what else do I want to add? Is there anything else uh, that I would like to discuss about the Couch Dragon? I think at one point I was maybe giving it a name or trying to, but I think that this is just a really cute painting, right? You, you really can't go wrong with a lazy dragon. <laughs> I feel like in most stories, dragons protect treasure, right? All day. But I feel like these are kind of more like um, lizard dragons, you know? Rather than fire dragons? Actually, that's a really good question. Do you guys think that these Randall Spangler dragons, do they breathe fire? If you guys know the answer to that, leave me a comment because I do not know. Have we ever seen them breathe fire? But yeah, I think that I'm done with the, the couch dragon. I need to seal it. Well, I need to clean it. 
and then I need to seal it and then I need I really need to think about what I want to do with this black I don't care for the black in some of these spots um, but yeah I plan on framing him soon um, but yeah I kind of put off making this video for a few weeks but it is important for me to share my appreciation and my gratitude for everyone who has been leaving me really nice comments or words of encouragement or even just kind of keeping me company while I do my whip and chats. Um, I know it's kind of cheesy to say this, but I feel like without you guys, this wouldn't have been possible. I think if I hadn't started this channel, this would still be sitting in my closet and I'd be working on a square every other month <laughs> like I had been before. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is just the start of a new adventure. Hopefully this is kind of the first milestone of our relationship on YouTube, of me making some content and you guys hanging out and everyone just having a good time. Um, but yeah, maybe this is the first of many completed canvases. Imagine, imagine if I just start making tons and tons of completed diamond paintings. <laughs> I would be so surprised. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys through the power of encouragement and kind words, anything is possible. And this is just such a signifier of that. So um, once again, thank you guys so, so much. I know that I did this, you know, I, I did the diamond painting alone but I feel like we all kind of made this or you guys definitely, you were definitely part of this too. Like me completing the, completing this isn't just me completing it. I feel like we all kind of completed it, but yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to cut you guys loose here. Um, if you guys are new, feel free to hit subscribe and join us and hang out. I am more than happy to have, some new pals through YouTube. <laughs> um, if you guys have been around for a while, I do appreciate your support so, so much. Hopefully I will see you guys very soon. Um, be sure to do something nice for yourself today. Say some encouraging words and be kind to yourself. Um, be sure to move around, get some water, eat something healthy, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye-bye.